Hey folks, welcome to Eck Academy. This is my very first video. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about how to find the values of all six trig functions uh, all around the coordinate plane. The first problem we're going to do asks us to find the values of all six trig functions for an angle theta that has terminal side containing the point negative 5 comma 1. So we first are going to draw the angle. I'm going to draw the initial side on the positive x-axis, as usual. Then I'm going to locate this point, negative 5, comma, 1. So negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and up 1. My point lies right here. So I'm going to draw the terminal side of the angle and locate the angle theta right here. Notice, though, that theta is not part of a very nice triangle. So instead of working with theta, I'm going to draw a reference triangle. And I'm going to label the sides of the reference triangle with the coordinates. So since the x-coordinate is negative 5, I'm going to call that side negative 5. And since the y-coordinate is positive 1, I'm going to call the vertical side 1. The reference angle is the small angle inside the triangle. And when we want to find things like the sine of theta, what we're really going to work with is the reference angle instead. So for the sine of theta, it's opposite over hypotenuse. Well, there's no triangle that has anything to do with theta. So I look at my reference angle. The opposite side is 1. So sine of theta is going to be 1 over the hypotenuse. Uh-oh, I don't know how to find the hypotenuse. Let's use the Pythagorean theorem instead. So I can find the hypotenuse by doing the square root of 1 squared plus negative 5 squared. When you square that negative 5, the negative uh, goes away. So this becomes the same as the square root of 26. For this problem, I've chosen a root that doesn't have to be reduced because 26 only has factors of 2 and 13. In another problem, you might have to reduce that square root. Let's finish the part where we're talking about the sine. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Now that we know the hypotenuse, we can say that the sine of theta is 1 over the square root of 26. It's asked us to find all six trig functions. Now that I've done the sine, I like to do the cosecant next. I like to do the cosecant next because it is the reciprocal of sine. So if sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosecant is going to be hypotenuse over opposite. In this case, that's just the square root of 26 divided by 1. Now that I've done the cosecant, I'm actually going to circle back to sine because my final answer for sine, not beautiful. I need to rationalize this. So I can rationalize it by multiplying by the square root of 26 over the square root of 26. And my beautiful, mathematically perfect and conventional final answer for sine of theta is going to be the square root of 26 times 1 divided by 26. All right, we have sine, we have cosecant. Let's move on to cosine. Cosine of theta will equal adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent, in this case, is negative 5. So the adjacent is negative 5. The hypotenuse is the square root of 26. I know that this isn't rationalized yet, but I'm going to go do the reciprocal function next and then come back and rationalize in a second. So the reciprocal of cosine is secant. So secant of theta will equal the square root of 26 over negative 5. It's kind of weird to leave that negative on the bottom. So one way that we often write it is just leave the negative out front, negative root 26 divided by 5. Now we'll go back and rationalize this. If you rationalize, this is the same as negative 5 root 26 divided by 26. Two more to go. 
tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. Well, the opposite is 1. The adjacent is negative 5. Again, it's kind of weird to leave that negative on the bottom, so I'll just move it out front. Negative 1 over 5. And we'll do cotangent of theta. That's the reciprocal of negative 1 fifth. That's negative 5 over 1, or just negative 5. Done. And that's how you solve a problem where they give you a point and you have to find all six trig values.